All right, so the other day I made a post talking about how when you start a diet and you first lose weight, eventually you're gonna come to a point where that weight loss is going to stall. And I said, if calories are remain equal, why does this happen? We're gonna start with A, uh, you wreck your metabolism. So I hear this all the time. People always say, oh, I can't lose any more weight. I wreck my metabolism. Um, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to up my calories again. And you know, I mean, there is some truth behind a diet break and increasing calories, but that's not why you can't lose any more weight. I'm gonna give you an example. So let's say you start the diet with your maintenance calories are 2000 calories, for example, okay? And for you to be in a deficit, now you have to be around like 1700 calories for your deficit. So eventually, once you start losing more weight, 1700 calories will now become your maintenance and your metabolism will slow down. So that is true, metabolism does slow down, but it doesn't get wrecked, like you can still lose weight. So the next one was B, insulin resistance. So this one will actually get better as you diet, lose more weight, improve your lifestyle changes, your habits, do more exercise. It can be challenging for some individuals, so I would just recommend, again, sticking to whole food sources, getting in some exercise, weight training, cardio, stay on top of that, really focus on more lifestyle changes, but it doesn't really mean that you can't lose weight. And if you pick V, then you are wrong again. Um, so this one was more about, you know, messing up your hormones and the hormones people, they don't even know usually what they're talking about when they say hormones, they usually don't even know which hormones they're even referring to. But um, for the sake of this purpose, we're going to refer to leptin and ghrelin. Those are really much your appetite uh, hormones. They were gonna regulate how hungry or how satiated you are. Really focus on getting a lot of fiber into your diet, really increasing water intake, having a good amount of sources of protein. That way you're not so hungry when you're dieting and it will make it a lot more tolerable. So yeah, even though your appetite will be increased, the more you diet, it doesn't make it impossible with the right food choices. And last but not least, C. If you pick C, then you are right. Because again, you can't lose weight unless you're in a calorie deficit. And if you were dieting for a period of time and you can't lose weight anymore with the same amount of calories, that just means now that's probably your maintenance and you're gonna have to decrease it lower. So I hope what you learned through all this is that there is nothing that is immune to a calorie deficit all these other things just make it harder to lose weight, but not impossible. I hope that was helpful. Follow for more and Coach Arnold signing out.